Good morning. Welcome to Godcast. And today, Romans 13, um, I'm pre-recording this because I've uh, done an overnight shift again. We're doing 12-hour shifts on this mission, and it is close enough where I'm at least getting to uh, sleep in my own bed at night, so that's great. And um, But it is pre-recorded, so you're not going to get that warning in case you watch this and you normally look for that warning that I've gone live, you're not going to get it because I'm having to pre-record these because I have to get to sleep. I have to report for duty again tonight. Um, let's go to the Lord and thank Him for His Holy Word. Thank you, Holy Father in Heaven, for everything. You are our all in all. Thank you, Holy Lord. We give this day to you and we ask you to please give us your Holy Spirit to really know you and understand you and understand your word, what you want us to learn about you. Thank you, my Lord. Please forgive us for our sins and we forgive those who have sinned against us. And Lord Christ Jesus, it's in your name we pray. Amen and amen. New American Standard Bible, Romans 13. Every person is to be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God, and they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. For rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to have no fear of authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For it is a servant of God to you for good. But if you do what is evil, be afraid, for it does not bear the sword for nothing. For it is a servant of God, an avenger who brings wrath on the one who practices evil. Therefore, it is necessary to be in subjection, not only because of wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this, you also pay taxes. For rulers are servants of God, devoting themselves to this very thing. Pay to all what is due them. Tax to whom taxes due. Custom to whom custom. Respect to whom respect. Honor to whom honor. Owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law. For this, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not covet. But if there is any other commandment, it is summed up in this saying, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. Do this, knowing the time that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep. For now salvation is nearer to us than we first believed. The night is almost gone, and the day is near. Therefore, let's, get, let's rid ourselves of the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let's behave properly as in the day, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and debauchery, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lusts. Short chapter, Romans 13. If you watch this, I hope and pray that you share it, share it on your page, not for my glory, but for God's glory, because people just aren't reading the word. I say that for myself as well. I don't, I don't read it nearly as, as much as I want to feel I, I should be doing, because I want to know more about the Lord. I want to know more how to please the Lord, and you can't get that from somebody just one day a week telling you what the Bible means. You get that reading God's word for yourself. A chapter a day keeps false teachers away. So Lord willing, talk to you again tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time for Godcast. May God bless you and keep you.